Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is leaf chromatography. It's a really fun experiment with leaves and I'm going to show you how to do it in just a second. But first what you really need is to gather a whole bunch of green leaves from around your neighborhood. You know, a whole bunch of different trees. Uh, maples seem to work the best. Uh, you need a beaker or a drinking glass, a clear one. Bowls, hot water, so adult supervision, have boiling water. Um, some rubbing alcohol and coffee filters. And I'll show you how it's done. So I gathered about eight different types of leaves, some multiple different green leaves to some of the color changes that we're seeing here in Northern California. One started to change a little bit. Um, there's a green, there's some yellows, some uh, different color reds, a little mixture of all colors. So we're gonna see how this experiment goes and we're gonna start the setup. So take the leaves and you cut them up or tear them up into small pieces. I just use scissors. Once you have them cut up, you can smash them like I'm doing. You don't have to. That's optional. Um, and then once you get that going, you're going to uh, take your leaves and put it into a small glass or into, like I have, small little beakers. Um, and once you get that put there, then you're going to take your rubbing alcohol. I have 50%. That's just what I had in the house. You probably want to use, um, you could use 71 or 90, whatever you have around the house. Um, 50 worked great for me. You just want to fill it up just enough so it's covering the leaves, right? So don't put a lot of leaves in. Then adult supervision, I boil some water. This is very hot water. You're going to put your beaker or glass inside the bowls, and then you're going to pour the hot water around uh, 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 the outside of the glass or beaker um, and uh, just high enough to cover that rubbing alcohol in the leaves. Now, um, a little side, you can put um, saran wrap or plastic over each beaker or glass to hold in the rubbing alcohol from absorbing. I did not do that and it came out fine. You're going to wait 30 minutes now um, in the hot water and then after that we're going to, uh, you could cut your coffee filters um, into about one inch, two inch strips, put them into the beakers. Mine just stood straight up. Most times you hang them. I didn't have to hang them. I stood them straight up and you can see the results here. Each leaf um, and the color that it's giving off, which I think is pretty incredible, um, some of the red. You see a little bit of the brown in there still, which is kind of cool because there was no brown there. Um, that one had a little bit of mixture, um, and you can see the little bit of the colors breaking out as it went up. Um, and then here again a red, but it actually had a little green on the back side. Uh, but it all came You see the green towards the bottom, but uh, mostly of the red and pink in there. And then this is my favorite one here. Um, it's green leaf. It's a snowball bush, but it has greens, yellows, all the way up to like a brown yellow, uh, like a brownish. That was my favorite one out of all of them. And then here uh, you can see it just came out into like a yellowish brown. Uh, every leaf is unique and different. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this experiment. If you did, please subscribe as I do. We try to do weekly experiments and to click thumbs up. Um, it really does help. Thank you very much for watching.